Everyone is telling you you need to grow your email list in order to grow your e-commerce brand. And that is true, which is why today I'm going to show you how you can link your Klaviyo email account to your Meta ad account and use Facebook and Instagram ads to grow your email list much faster than if you were trying to do it organically or through just existing customers. My name's Jessie Healy. I'm a seven-figure exited agency founder turned e-commerce coach. I have helped scale over 100 e-commerce brands and I've spent over $50 million on digital advertising. And I'm going to share all of that knowledge to you with you today with a simple way to create ad campaigns to grow your email list. Let's dive into the content. Okay, so to get this set up, there are two kind of steps to it. We're going to need a Meta ad account and a Klaviyo account. So if you don't have a Meta ad account or a Klaviyo email account, then you want to go and set those up. And if you're not running your email through Klaviyo, this might not be the video for you. Although you could watch along and see how we set up the ads and potentially if you're using another platform like MailChimp you could also link that to your ads in the same way. All right so the first thing we're going to need before we get started is an actual piece of ad content. Now the first thing to remember is in order for someone to want to sign up to your email list you need to give them a reason and that reason needs to be fairly compelling. People are busy, they're distracted, they need a good reason to sign up. So I would say the reasons to sign up to an email list from an ad fall into three camps. One, they can win something. The second one is they can get a discount on something. And the third one is you're going to give them some kind of content that's really interesting and compelling to them. And it's compelling to someone who looks exactly like your customer. So an example of content, maybe for a baby brand, might be some kind of downloadable content about getting your baby to sleep or feeding your baby or what to take to the hospital to have your baby, that kind of thing. Discount could be just a 10 or 15% discount on your baby products. And then an example of a win would be like maybe you're doing a draw once a month to win $500 worth of your product. Generally, the prize should be your product because that's going to appeal most to people who might potentially become your customer. Choose which one of those you are gonna you think is going to work best and the first time you do this is going to be a test. You can see how it performs and then if it performs well, you can scale it up. If it doesn't, we could, you could go back and try one of the other two options for persuading people to come to your list. Okay, so before we jump into Ads Manager to set up your ad, we just need to create our ad creative, which is the actual image we're going to attach to the ad itself. So I'm going to suggest you use ChatGPT to create this just because it's super quick and easy. I'll show you how, but you're welcome to use Canva or any other design platform you want to to create your piece of ad creative. So let's jump into ChatGPT now and you'll see here what I've done is I uploaded a um, a template like so this is just an example ad that I want ChatGPT to copy and then I uploaded this uh, product image here which is my own product image and I prompted ChatGPT to put the two together and I told it what text to put in the ad. The first version of it I didn't quite like, I prompted it again and then here we go. So within five minutes I had this ad that I was pretty happy with that I'm going to use um, use to, to run this campaign. So go ahead and do that and then we'll jump into Ads Manager. Okay, so here we are in Ads Manager in the uh, dashboard section. So um, we're ready to create the campaign. So you want to click on Create. You want to click on Leads and you want to click on Continue. And then what you want to do is click Select Manual Leads Campaign, click Continue. And then you can name the campaign, whatever you want to call it, Jesse Lead Campaign. I like to put the date 17 April. Um, and we're going to leave all of those off for now and then we're going to click on next. We are going to click on instant forms. So we're going to use instant forms to generate the leads here. You want to view the terms and we're going to make sure we agree to the terms and then we're going to put a set a budget here. I would start with $10 a day, but whatever budget you want to put in there and just leave everything set as it is. Make sure you've set your location to where you're wanting to target customers. Generally, I would put your whole country unless there's a strong reason why you can't serve customers um, in certain regions and we're going to leave everything here. Audience will be open. If you want to target a really specific audience for this, if you have a very niche product, this would be your opportunity to do so, but I would encourage you to keep it pretty broad and make your ad do the work of targeting the right people because Facebook will find people that like the look of your ad and respond to ads that are similar to yours. So I wouldn't encourage you to put um, audience targeting unless absolutely necessary. And then you want to click on next. So this is where we're going to create the ad. So we're going to upload here. Um, we are going to upload the creative here. So if we just scroll down here. Set up creative, image ad, and we're just going to upload the creative we just created over on ChatGPT. Here it is. Wait for that to load. This screen just lets us kind of crop the image how we want it to crop. So we might go here like this and just crop it a little bit here. 
and this one we might go one by one and just move it around a little bit and this one we might go in this case it's potentially not the best cropping of this image so you can can click on replace and choose another version of the image um, or you could indeed do it like this so it's just the shoes but again I would probably create something different that fits into that spot a little bit better but for now I'm just going to leave it like that now we're going to have the opportunity to fill in the text okay so I've just filled this in with some text here so you'll notice this text I've put in here very much targeted on what the customer is going to get what's in it for them um, and why they should sign up so get a discount on extended shoe sizes 42 to 45 we're here for the tall girls of New Zealand so this brand and that I'm using in the example is a brand for um, with extended shoe sizes for tall girls and then I've put a headline here shoes for tall girls and get offer is my call to action that I've chosen next you can choose to add music or not sometimes the music choice is a little dodgy so I tend to turn this off ah so it, does, it doesn't want me to turn it off but I'm going to turn it off anyway um, and then we're just going to click done okay so now we're going to create the form that connects to Clavio. so you want to click on you're still inside this add creation screen here we're going to click on create form and we are going to leave the you can leave the title as it is or you can give it a bit more of a description I'm going to keep it as more volume uh, you can if you want to ask people to verify their email or their phone number but um, I'm going to just leave it as more volume uh, and then flexible form delivery we're going to choose optimize minimal tailor the form to each person for maximum performance so we're going to click on next we're going to enter the headline for the form so I've just put a headline here and you can see it appear on the side and I've put some text as well here click on next so here is where you just want to put what you're going to use the information for so you can put something like join our mailing list for tall women get 15 percent off something like that you can choose what data you want to collect. I'm going to suggest email and name is all you're going to need. But if you want to, you can collect their mobile number or any other information about them, including, for instance, with this brand, the shoe size. Click on next. You want to make sure you link to your privacy policy here. So just grab the privacy link from your website and pop it in here. Um, and then you want you can add custom notices here if you want to. Click on next. Now this screen is important because this is what you want people to see when they um, when they finish the form. So in this section, you can actually um, put something like um, "Thanks, you're all set." Why not browse our range of shoes for sizes forty two to forty five? So something like that, and then go to website, and then in this place, you put the link. To so I'm going to just link to the website here and that way um, you're prompting people to actually visit your site after they fill in the form which is will be a bonus as well. The only other thing I'm going to do is just go back. Sorry one thing you can do is in the first screen so I just clicked back 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 over here is you can actually have a background image added as well. So I'm going to add a upload an image here. Okay so it can take a little bit of fiddling around but I've managed to create an image here that um, sits behind that that looks quite nice so we'll just click back to next and there we've got our form created and the ad is actually now ready to publish so I'm going to click publish. It's going to take a little minute or so to um, be ready and get approved but what I'm going to do in the meantime is I'm just going to turn this ad set. Once that finishes publishing I'm going to turn this ad set off because I don't want it to spend any money until I've linked it up to Clavio, which is the next thing that we're going to do. Okay so now the final step is just to link this into your Clavio. So we are going to click open up Clavio, and then we're going to click on integrations and we are going to explore inter integrations and we're going to click on this one here meta ads or you can search for it over here. So click on meta ads and we are going to sync out grow with lead ads is the option we're going to go for here. So we're going to click on install and we're going to connect to meta ads reconnect. I don't know why it said reconnect this might have been connected in the past so this is what we're going to do here click next select an account so this option here that it's giving me is giving me the option to actually connect audiences within Clavio as well so that's another option that you can do if you want to where you can take lists from Clavio and push them into custom audiences inside meta but we're not going to focus on that today I'm just going to click on next um, we're going to find the page so we've selected the page here we're going to select the lead ad that we have just set up in here so um, find the name of the ad that you've just created so this is the ad here eu join the crew 10 percent off and then you select select the list that you want to send those leads to in this case it's the newsletter list and you're going to subscribe them to email you're going to just click on complete setup 
So there you have it. You've created an ad and ads manager. You've connected it to your Klaviyo account and connected that particular form to your welcome series so that anyone who fills in that form on an ad gets added to your welcome series and starts receiving your newsletter. The important thing it to make sure is like have you given them a way to receive like whatever it is you've promised them so whether that's making that the first email in your welcome flow or having that in that final stage of the form instead of sending them to the home page you could send them to a page where they can connect collect their discount or you could even include information about the discount or the offer in that final stage of the form but make sure that whatever you've promised them you are delivering on that promise either in the welcome series or in the form itself and there you have it a way to easily populate your um, um, your email account with tons of new emails by running ads. I'd suggest a budget of starting with maybe ten or twenty dollars a day. You can increase it if you see good results. I'd be aiming for a one to two dollar cost per lead, depending on your niche and industry. Um, it will be cheaper or more expensive. If you're in premium, um, the premium space, it might be a little more expensive to achieve a lead. And if you're a little more low cost or discount you might be able to achieve leads at a lower cost, but that's generally the rule of thumb. Now, if you need more help with this or you need help growing your e-com store, I coach and consult e-com brands. And the first step of kind of finding out a little bit more is to book a call with me. In this call, I will assess your marketing, get, give you an order of your meta ads, give you some feedback on what you're doing with absolutely no obligation. So click the link below this video and let's set something up and we can meet in person. See you later.